Alright, what's up guys? This is going to be one of my uh, first guides on this channel. I've made a few before, but this is going to be uh, one I'm going to try and put most of my effort into to make. Um, the guide is going to be about armored zombies. Um, if you don't know what that is, you need to have done, uh, I think it's Defender of Varrock. Um, this isn't really a hard quest. You don't really need to complete the quest, you know, all the way. You just need to get to the part where you're allowed to go down into the uh, tunnels. Or the thingies, whatever you want to call them. And um, for your gear, what you're going to want to bring is... Um, you're going to want to bring some sort of helmet. I recommend a uh, helmet of neck. Whatever, that, whatever the fuck that's called. Uh, you know, something to give a prayer bonus. You can fire cape, nomad's cape. Uh, I use this one, this Aeora, because uh, it slows down your prayer drain and it uh, you know increases the amount of prayer points. Your prayer points go up if you drink a prayer potion. Um, Barrow's gloves, always, always. This is the only gloves I recommend on here. B boots, uh, ring of wealth. I don't know. You could use a uh, ring of life if you want. Just in case if you, you know, DC or you just AFK for a second, you fucking die. Defender, any any shield really works or any defender works. Alright, this is the part where you can have, where you have many options. Boom plate legs, fighter torch, so this can easily be replaced with Tacits and a BCP or Guthans, full Guthans or, you know, this is what you want. And the D scimitar is for uh, me because I'm training strength there. Uh, for your inventory, you're gonna want to have to bring a good, like a super set, depending on how long you think you want you want to stay there. Uh, I brought two, one, two, and a uh, summoning potion. I might bring two bunyips. Bring, you know, one of each charm because you're gonna get a lot of charms here. Uh, I teleport out. You know, food. Uh, Bunyips are you good? If you don't know what bunyips are, you need I think it's 68. Um, yeah, you need 68 summoning to use them, and they heal uh, two life. I mean, 20 life points. Sorry, every 10 seconds. So it's really good if you're down there. Really helps you out in food. Otherwise, you'd be pretty much stuck. With a bunyip, you could almost last forever down there. If just in case, if you don't want to have your uh, supers. Alright, so in the next clip, I'm going to show you how to get there. Alright, so you're going to want to start out at uh, Varrock. I'm just going to start at the Grand Exchange because it's the closest. Um, once you got all geared up and all your inventory set up, just run. Yeah, this part's going to be sped up, by the way. Alright, you're gonna wanna go into the Varrock Castle. Climb up the first set of stairs. Alright, climb up to the second set of stairs. I mean, the third the third star you wanna climb up there. Right here, you could summon your bunyip if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna show you like a demo of what to do. Talk to this guy after you after you have completed um, Defender of Varrock. And I reckon. Oh, I'm sorry I haven't mentioned this first. Um, your Salve Amulet, you will get that by completing uh, Haunted Mind Quest. To get it enchanted, you have to do the minigame and get something called the Tarn's Diary. And uh, it'll make it enchanted and it makes you hit 20% more on the undead. So that's very good down here. And just run through the options on this guy. Alright. So you'll get to a place like this. Um, got the altar right here. This is why you don't need prayer potions. You put Piety, Turmoil, or. Oh, oh ch Chivalry. Whatever the fuck that's called. Or if you don't have either one of those, or right, either three, then just use Ultimate Strength and Incredible Reflexes. They work great down here. Alright, just pot it up when you're ready. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm just showing you. And usually there's not going to be a lot of people down here. Now the bots are dead, so. Let's kill them. Oh, fuck, I forgot my DDS, but whatever. 
Um, so yeah, that's about it. Oh, one more thing, if they become unaggressive to you, like they just stop attacking you when you're in the middle of fighting, um, what you're going to want to do is, here, I'll show you, you're going to run down here, just keep running, let these guys hit you a few times, and then you're good, and then I'll run back over there, and then they'll, and then they'll stop, so yeah, that's it, hope you enjoyed the guide, thank you.